the lobbyists never rested. Money and influence were used to peddle a number of ideas under different names, free trade, commercial union, annexation, and harmonization. But each time, when brought to an election, the Canadian people turn it down. And this is why we have a country. Quebec and the rest of Canada doesn't realize they have a common enemy, and the enemy is not themselves and each other. The enemy is, is, is America. In the Bush administration right now is a new conservative ideology in operation. Here they are going around conquering the world in the name of freedom and democracy, when in reality, new conservatives don't have any use for either freedom or democracy. What they mean by freedom is free trade, corporate capitalism, and what they mean by democracy is rule or tyranny of the moral majority. Adam Smith is uh, often quoted, and uh, I think he's also often uh, misunderstood. Um, antipathy towards monopoly. Well, why did you and Mr. Mulroney dis disagree? Well, I said I had an unfair advantage over Mr. Mulroney. I read the agreement, and the, the students went nuts. They just went. general approach of policymakers now is that we should encourage local initiative and you know we have business schools to turn students into entrepreneurs and we have uh, all kinds of hope that people are going to become more entrepreneurial and create magic new industries and, and invent new technologies and we'll live happily ever after and uh, that happens to some extent but when we do have a success there's, there's nothing to prevent a foreign company buying up a, a, a burgeoning. Well, head offices are, are very important to a, a national economy because uh, it, it's at the head office where the best jobs are, uh, the research and development. So uh, uh, my type of skills need a head office economy, and that means <laughs> it needs a Canadian-owned economy. Or else you might contravene these agreements you've signed. We don't have to live like this. We can shrug our giant shoulders and say, yes, we're going to trade. Yes, we're going to, uh, to, uh, to be on good terms with countries around the world. But we're going to create in Canada a nation that serves our interests of our people, raises our standards of living, and carries our values around the world.